okay in the last video we discussed about simple parts and prime parts and uh, we defined these concepts uh, in an effort to uh, remove the efforts uh, which can be caused because of the loops in the control flow graph of a program so we found that a simple path uh, is a path that does not have any nodes uh, repeating nodes uh, except in the first and the last position and by that uh, we were also able to represent a loop in the form of a uh, simple path so in this uh, video i'm going to work out an example to find out all the prime paths uh, on this uh, given graph which you can see on the slide here so th this has seven nodes these uh, node one is the initial node and node seven is the final node so first of all we need to compute all the simple parts on this graph so we'll start with the parts of length 0 if you see parts of length 0 are the nodes themselves these can be node 1 node 2 node 3 node 4 node 5 node 6 and node 7 so you can put an exclamatory mark next to node 7 because it is the final node <coughs> now we need to find out the parts of length 1 so these will starting from uh, node 1 this can be 1 2 1 3 and then you can see uh, parts of length 1 from node 2, two is uh, 2 3 from node 3 we have 3 two parts of length 1 one of them is 3 4 and then the other one is 3 5 from node 4 we have uh, one length uh, one path of length 1 that is 4 7 from node 5 we have two parts one of them is 5 6 and the other one is 5 7 in the same way you can find out from uh, node 6 we have this path 6 5 which is of length 1 now i have to compute the parts of length 2 again i will start from node 1 this is 1 2 3 another one can be 1 3 4 yet another can be 1 3 and 5 and then star uh, from node 2 we have these length 2 parts 2 3 4 2 3 and 5 from node 3 we have a path 3 4 and 7 and another one we have this 3 5 and 6 3 5 and 7 from node 4 we don't have any path of length 2 and from node 5 we have a path of length 2 that is 5 6 and 5 and from node 6 we have two parts of length 2 6 5 and 6 and the second one is 6 5 and 7 from 7 we don't have any in node 7 we don't have any parts of length 2 now i have to find out parts of length 3 so these can be uh, 1 2 3 4 another one can be 1 3 4 1 3 4 and 7 another one can be 1 3 5 6 so these were the possible length two parts from uh, sorry length three parts from uh, node one likewise we can find from node two so this can be 2 3 4 7 
then can be two three four five six another one can be two three five seven from uh, node 3 we cannot find a simple path that is of length uh, 3 3 4 7 is length 2 3 5 6 is length 2 and if we extend 3 5 6 5 that doesn't remain a simple path so we have to stop uh, here we cannot actually place a path or find a path of length 3 from node 3 and in the same way there is no path of length 3 from node 4 to 7 uh, sorry node 4 and 5 6 5 is a simple path but if we further try to extend that path from node 5 that will not be a simple path because we will have uh, some node repeated internally uh, rather than being the first and the last uh, in the path and in the same way we cannot have any length 3 path from 6 node 6 and node 7 so let's try uh, of length parts of length 4 Starting from node 1, we can have 1, 2, 3, 4, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 7. And another one can be 1, 2, 3, 5, 6. And if we try to find a path 2, 3, 5, 6 from node 2, we cannot find a path of length uh, uh, 4, 2, 3, 3, 5, and 5, 6. And if I further extend this path back to 6 uh, to 5, then 5 repeats internally, so I cannot write that path here. Now I have to find uh, 1 3 4 7 1 3 5 7 so i cannot actually find another length 4 path so so just to illustrate so we and uh, now i will strike out the parts which are the sub parts of other parts i just change the ink of a pen so his node 1 appears in several other larger parts so i can strike this one 2 also appears in several places 3 also appears in several places 4 also appears in several places so the idea is uh, we want to compute the prime parts and prime path is a simple path does not does not that does not appears does not appear as a simple sub path of any other simple path so 5 is basically a sub path so we can remove these or discard these 1 2 is also appearing in uh, parts of land 2 1 3 is also appearing 2 3 is also appearing 3 4 is also appearing here 3 5 is appearing here 4 7 is appearing here 5 6 is appearing down here 5 7 is also appearing here now just to check 1 2 3 so 1 2 3 is a sub path of this one we can discard this 1 3 4 is a sub path of this path we can discard this 1 3 5 is a sub path here 2 3 4 is a sub path here 2 3 5 is a sub path here 3 4 7 uh, 3 4 7 yes it is a sub path of this path so we can get rid of this one 3 5 6 so it is also sub path of that path 3 5 7 is uh, here we can 5 6 5 6 5 6 and 6 5 7 so these three parts are not sub parts of any other simple parts of length greater than 2 so 1 2 3 4 is a sub path of this sub path 1 3 4 7 so this is not a sub path of other path 1 3 5 6 this is not a sub path of other parts 2 3 4 7 so this is also uh, not a sub path of uh, yes it is it is a sub path of this path <coughs> so we can basically discard this one 2 3 5 6 is also a sub path here so we can discard these two and 2 3 5 7 so we are left with these these two this one so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7 and 8, these two. So probably I am missing uh, one uh, path which is uh, 
not listed here one two three four so let me try to find out that okay so we forgot uh, one path from uh, node one that was one two three and five seven so that is here one two three five seven so this these are uh, the simple parts which are not sub parts of any other parts so these three these basically represent uh, some iterations through the loop and uh, the other ones in the blocks these three on the bottom and four five sorry five and six and seven and eight and nine so we we have these nine simple parts which are not sub parts of any other simple parts so these are our uh, prime parts on this given graph so here you can see now that 5 6 5 if i try to find traverse this path 5 6 and 5 so this goes through the loop twice or more than once greater than one and 6 5 6 <coughs> sorry 6 5 6 is again this path 6 5 6 so this also uh, traverses the loop more than once and if I uh, follow 6, 5, 7, that goes through the loop once. So I have covered the possibilities of uh, traversal of the loop more than once and once by means of these prime parts. And there is also this part 1, 2, 3, 4, 7, which actually does, uh, executes the loop zero times. So we have uh, exercised the possibilities of traversing the loop zero times, exactly one time and more than one times but just by uh, identifying these prime parts on the graph. So therefore this prime path method is a very elegant way to uh, cover the loops without actually exercising or mentioning the criteria which were used in the 80s, 90s uh, uh, and earlier. So that was all for today's video. In the next video, uh, we, I, I will come up with some more interesting topics uh, in white box testing. Thank you.